everybody, this is Monster Zero and Jay, and welcome again to the Movie Madhouse. Today on the Movie Madhouse, we're going to review The Dark Knight Rises. This is the third and final film in director Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. And I got to say, first off, I'm going to start saying I really enjoyed Dark Knight Rises. The film has some flaws, but I really enjoyed this film. The film takes place about eight years after the events of The Dark Knight. Batman is in hiding, he's taken the blame for Two-Face's crimes, and Bruce Wayne is in hiding, still mourning over the death of Rachel Dawes. But this all changes when a sexy cat burglar by the name of Selina Kyle enters Gotham City and targets Bruce Wayne himself. And a vicious terrorist by the name of Bane also sets his sights on Gotham City with destruction in mind. So Bruce Wayne now decides it's time for Batman to come out of retirement. The first act of the film has a lot to accomplish. There's a new story to introduce us to, new characters to introduce us to, and we have to find out what happened in the previous eight years between films. So there's a lot to accomplish here, and frankly, it doesn't flow quite that smoothly. It's a little choppy. It doesn't quite have the smooth narrative flow that the rest of the film has. Even with an almost three hour running time, I just don't felt there was enough time to accomplish what that first act needed to accomplish, and it kind of jumps around a bit. But once Batman puts the cowl on and goes after his adversaries, the film really clicks into motion, and the second act is really strong and really starts to give us what we're looking for in this film, and then we're just treated to a, an absolutely smashing, spectacular, and epic final act, and it really gives us that solid finish to the Batman trilogy that we were hoping for. And helping Christopher Nolan get this story told is, is a great cast. We have Christian Bale once again doing a great job as Bruce Wayne and Batman. He, uh, what can I say, he's, he does, he's done a fantastic job the entire trilogy and I, I enjoy his performance as both characters. I think he does a great job. And as Selena Kyle, we have Anne Hathaway. It was a real treat to watch her in this film. She's cunning, she's dangerous. Uh, she's manipulative, but she also, there also is elements of vulnerability and a heart in this woman. And she just does a great job of putting together a very multifaceted character. And of course, we have Tom Hardy, who I love. I love Tom Hardy, and he is a fantastic Bane. He's not quite the Joker, but this character is dangerous. He's deadly, he's vicious, and he's also very intelligent. And you can really believe that he's going to give Batman a run for his money. And I can't go without mentioning the great supporting cast. We once again have Morgan Freeman playing Lucius Fox. And we have uh, Gary Oldman once again playing the intrepid Commissioner Gordon. And we have Michael Caine once again playing Alfred. And again, he's got some great scenes with him and Christian Bale in this movie. And he proves without a shadow of a doubt that he is one of the greatest actors ever, plain and simple. And rounding out the supporting cast, we have Joseph Gordon-Levitt as John Blake, who's a heroic cop. And Marion Cotillard plays a, an employee of Wayne Enterprises who also becomes closely involved with Bruce Wayne himself. She was kind of the weak link in the film, I thought. Her character doesn't really do much, and then when she does become important, I don't think the actress really had the screen presence to, to reel it in, to really make it work. But otherwise, this is a spectacular film. The scope is amazing. It, the special effects are flawless. Technically, the film is, is incredibly well made. And what else do you expect from Christopher Nolan? And so I'm going to give The Dark Knight Rises a solid three and a half on the battle meter. And I'm going to give Anne Hathaway's Catwoman a solid four on the cattle meter. So this is Monster Zero NJ saying, go see Dark Knight Rises. It's a great summer flick and it's a great conclusion to the Batman trilogy. And I'll see you next time on the Movie Madhouse. <laughs>